Today is July 19th, 2017, and this is the Investitude Podcast. And John, I was reading that article on uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg today in Variety Magazine. I thought it was cool about yeah. the new content, or new TV, I call it. We're ahead of the... Tough to find a guy with more uh, of a finger on the pulse of what's cool and... Uh, how to make things better than Jeffrey Katzenberg. I mean, Jimmy Iovine, Katzenberg, um, those those would be two guys with Johnny Q and, uh, or Eddie Q and Eddie uh, Q. Johnny uh, Ive. Yeah, Eddie Q. As I was reading the article, you know, because they, they say short form and there was a couple things mentioned and a couple things that we've talked about. One, they talked about Twitter and for some reason they were thrown in the mix of this with their 220 second format that you can throw up on mm-hmm. video which got me interested and then the other thing they mentioned was the um the Dan Brown and James Patterson novels you know how they have like the really short chapters like that book Kingpin we read yep they said that that And Dan Brown of course is like Da Vinci Code and all that uh-huh and they'll have short chapters like Kingpin, the one that we just got finished reading about mm-hmm. with uh, Ross Ulbrich and the, you know, the Silk Road. So I think, you know, as I read this article, I'm, I'm starting to think, hmm, they might be on to something. Not that that hasn't been tried before, but Twitter, you know, the, a, a, glimpse, a glimmer of hope out of t- Twitter that I hate so much. I love using it, but I just they need to get their, you know, their stuff together. Anyway. Just they do, they do, but uh, yeah, I liked it. I love that article. We'll have to put a link to it. Yeah, no, definitely Either gonna put a link with the podcast or uh, or right after the podcast, depending on how much room you have. No, I'm gonna I'll put it right into the bottom there. So yeah, but I was reading cool. up on that, and then um, then I look on TV. Then you're on, and you're doing a whole bunch of trades. What's going on? Well, um, gosh, yesterday we talked about Facebook, among others. I know. FB. And uh, um, here they are. Pi- the, the stock's up a couple bucks. Again. They're piling into more calls and even uh, closer to the money strikes. I mean, they're, that's like a feeding frenzy at this point I in thought- Facebook. And it's, uh, they're working. I thought the August 175 was a pie in the sky last Tuesday. Not so much. What's this thing done? <laughs> what are they buying today? <laughs> Gosh, I, you know, they were buying uh, the 160s. They were buying, I think, the 6250s and oh, 65s. Yeah. They, they, they are just heavy in Facebook call buying. Um, and so worth, worth not only noting here, but, um, boy, there's where there's smoke, there's usually fire. And uh, there seem seemingly is fire uh, over here in Facebook. I wonder what the story is there. I mean, we know what the story is, but there's going to be something that I guess really makes it pop. Facebook. Sure. Yeah. Well, like yesterday, TripAdvisor, one of the stocks I oh, did. That's on another one you got. Yeah. T R I P. So that one, uh, Cowan comes and you know upgrades them today, and the stock pops. You know, like a buck fifty. And, uh, you know, the calls have already made us some nice coin. Uh, same thing with Pete's on the, uh, gosh, what, VIPS, VIPS, VIP yeah. shops. Yeah, that thing oof, hit 1245 today. The calls went from, they started buying them yesterday at a dime. They ran them to like 25, 26 cents, I think. And then today they hit 90. Maybe they, they're even higher now. I don't know. I'm in the car. But uh, that is another nice trade. That'll work. That dog hunts. And you know what else? I called Mikey over at Investitude today. I called him first thing in the morning. I saw some activity in uh, Whole Foods. And I said to Mikey, I said, you see in those 10,000? It, it didn't exceed open interest, so that really kind of takes it off our radar for our you know, in, uh, investors over at Investitude, the people that go to our site. 
But I thought it was interesting that somebody bought 10,000 calls. And he didn't, he didn't make anything of it. He said it was bought. They were cheap. Do you think there's still some activity in the food space? I do. Uh, I don't think it's going to be in Whole Foods. But I do think that it is in, uh, boy, take a look at Pinnacle Foods today, yeah, Andrew. I saw that. PF. That's what made me think of it. Yeah, which is, of course, not a not a store like a Whole Foods. But Pinnacle Foods, you know, last time, uh, what, just over a month ago, um, there were rumors that ConAgra had taken a pass at them. And uh, as that rumor hit, uh, the stock ran and the volatility popped to about a 60. That's the volatility. Stock price ran to, I think, 67 or 68. Um, then David Faber came out, you know, our colleague from CNBC, and he decried it. Oh, God. Saying, That's hey, all I he does. To That's all he well, does. But, you know, David's really good at that. I mean, when he picks up the phone, they're going to answer. And he said, have you talked to them? And they said, no, we have not. So that was pretty definitive, right? Yes, I saw that now, on TV. Now, today, today uh, we see unusual paper in Pinnacle again. There's a rumor again that it's ConAgra. And they, not David, but they, the universal they, journalists, including CNBC, called them and said, Pinnacle that is, and said, is there anything to these rumors? And, you know, normally, of course, they're just going to say no or... Uh, whatever today they said no comment. So it's not the same when you say no comment. No, we. So know that's that. not at all the same as what David Faber got from them last time. Oh. Um, so it doesn't mean that something is going on and that they're going to get taken out. But I bought calls. Um, I am, you know, heartened because the stock's down to sixty. That's where I got in today. And uh, it's moving up, and then the volatility's popping again into the almost 60% level from the mid-30s. So, again, significant pop in volatility, which is risk. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that's why I like it. Um, I would only do it as a spread, folks. If you hold these calls naked, be careful, meaning you don't hedge them. Be very careful because the vol is high. Um, and, uh, if that risk premium disappears because David or some other smart journalist gets the companies that are allegedly involved in these talks to, uh, back off, uh, and say, nope, we have no, uh, no, no structure, no conversations, whatever. Volatility could hurt you pretty bad. So that's why you only trade things like this as a spread. You do not buy calls naked unless you really are just taking a big risk. I'm going to put this down for one of my end-of-the-week trades, if it's still. But remember, you're big boys and girls. You want to take big risk, you can do it. I just want you to go in yeah. with your eyes open. We'll see how tomorrow this thing to opens that. up. I spread them. Because I'm seeing, yeah, because I'm seeing some, ac I'm, like you said, I'm seeing out in December, too, the 65s. So maybe, maybe something yeah. a little bit longer. Hmm. Anything else that right. you're. Right, uh, people wanted more time. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. I don't. I don't. Not in a hurry. Um, anything else you're seeing that? Uh... A gas gas company, uh, Encana, ECA. Oh yeah, I saw that ECA. And they're cheap. They're twenty cents. I, saw I think that. they were uh, calls they're buying in there. The stock's it's just below ten. Fifty two hundred. And I think they were. Yeah, I think they were buying. Was it the twelves? Maybe Andrew that they oh, were yeah. buying. I, yeah, it looks like, like fourteen thousand of the tens or five thousand of the twelves. There's open interest of yeah. There's definitely some upside here. And then the Julys they were buying the tens. Well, there's some pretty heavy activity there. Yeah, because I have uh, some other stuff that's yeah. I like Encounter. Take a look at that. Anything else that you? Uh... Those are mainly the trades I was making today. Um, uh, gosh, what did we add yesterday? That we had a triple yesterday, Andrew. I mean, Sienna worked, VIP shops worked, and TripAdvisor worked. Um, I'm still in all three, but I, or actually, I'm not in VIPs anymore. 
I am not in VIPS anymore. Popped. It tripled. And so I probably sold too soon, but nonetheless, I have no positions left. And then I guess the end of the week, we got the OJ trial coming up, the OJ hearing. Well, uh, uh, parole. Parole yeah. hearing. They say that he was... Yeah, uh, that, and there was somebody putting out... Did you see that? What? The, somebody the, denied parole because they caught him masturbating yeah. in his cell or something. <laughs> I know. And T it's like, T TM really? TMZ just He's put out a... prison. <laughs> I know. That's like the ultimate fake news. They... <laughs> Yeah, actually, TMZ just came out saying that 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 rumors false. <laughs> I don't know how you verify that, but just when I saw, <laughs> I just when I saw it, I was like, "Oh God!" Here, I wish I could get long OJ. I wish there was like some way that you could get long him. Because you think he's going to get out on this one, huh? And not only is he going to get out, but it's just like if you could have a, a star. That's like OJ related. That's you know, you know, mentions <laughs> on Twitter, you know, or just mentions. He's gonna take over the social media thing. I mean, even if it's just for a day or two, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be sick. It's just gonna be all no OJ doubt. all the time, which is funny because he's been gone for ten years now, and uh, yeah. And we'll have to we'll have to do Feeling that, his uh, own stuff back. Uh yeah, out of the station there. We'll have to um have to I mean, you know, I might start posting some of those videos. I'll put those up on Twitter as uh, the two If you aren't aware, folks, Andrew has some interview footage with OJ that he shot um God, what is it? Fifteen or twenty years ago. Right? Nah, ten years ago. He went to jail like uh in 06. He's as old as my kid. A little bit older, a little bit younger than my kid because my son met him, and uh, we did the last live interview with O.J. Simpson, and I still have them. And actually, A and E just called me up and they wanted my footage, and they asked. I think I you sell it. No, because I gave them the audio, and I said, "Here's some audio." I didn't give it all to them. They just wanted the callers that called in that made fun of them, and I'm like, I don't want to go there. I said, I they, those callers jack with my show and the format that I was trying to come out with. I said, you're you're hitting this on the wrong angle, and they didn't care. And they, the producer wasn't listening to me, so I just said, fine, screw it. I'll keep that footage. It's all exclusive, four hours, my own stuff. So yeah, I'll put it out on our channels, and we'll have an exclusive of our own. We'll do the OJ show this week. What do you think? Just start, <laughs> start putting them up. Pour them out. All right. Anyway. <laughs> More to come. Follow us on Twitter. Well, remember, folks, uh, you can always subscribe and make sure you don't miss Andrew's footage of the OJ interview. <laughs> you can subscribe <laughs> on iTunes or YouTube and leave us some comments for sure. If we answer your questions, we'll even try to get you some nice swag from the uh, podcast.